envisage diving deep into the underwater world with only the air that can be saved from one breath. Silently stalking creatures that are inherently designed for the environment more than humans ever were requires a unique set of skills. Stamina, mental fitness, the cunning of a hunter and being totally in tune with the environment and the prey that lives there are skills that must be mastered. Spearfishing is the most selective form of fishing there is. Only the fish that is chosen is taken. And today, only a few of the craftiest species are targeted by spearfishers. Hi there, I'm Darren Shields. The video you're about to see has been filmed by myself over the last few years. Every shot taken has been on a single breath hold, no scuba involved, and none of the fish are in reserve areas. Darren is a passionate ambassador for the sport. A five-time New Zealand champion, he has been diving since he was six years old and represented New Zealand 12 times in international competitions. The sport of spearfishing has given me some great thrills over the years. I've seen some wonderful sights. Please join me and some of my friends and we'll show you some. Kingfish is a graceful predator that stirs the heart of any diver. The best spots to find them is on a point or a pinnacle with a lot of tide running and bait fish in residence. Kingfish are an inquisitive fish, let them come to you rather than pursue them. Try to keep it away from weed and rocks when playing it. Place your shot well, being careful not to let your line become tangled on the body, as a kingfish will drag you into the depths very quickly. The best technique to control a fish once caught is to get your hand in its gills and your legs wrapped around its tail. They can physically be the most challenging fish to land, weighing up to a hundred pounds. Huge fish. 35 kilos.
Terakia is a fish that can be found regularly on sand and wet edges past the 50 foot mark. When found in large schools, they are normally easy to approach. But if few in number, it's best to lie on the bottom and wait for them to come to you. The eating quality is amongst the best. You never know where you're going to find a John Dory due to their camouflage and predatory nature. They lie in wait for unsuspecting fish, normally hunting alone. John Dory are pursued for their high eating quality. Golden Snapper are one of the most demanding fish to hunt due to the depths they live at. As a free diver, I've done my deepest dives hunting this fish regularly going past the 60 foot mark. The best places to look are under ledges and overhangs or around large boulders on the sea floor. The safest approach is to sink slowly onto the golden snapper as any finning will alarm them.
crayfish are challenging targets for free divers. You can cover large amounts of area in your hunt, providing the freedom to move in and out of holes without any hindrance.